Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to log into Power BI service using personal email or how you can use your personal email with Power BI desktop. To do that, we need to go to the Azure portal. To go to the Azure portal, just type Azure portal login in your browser and then click on the first link and login with your personal email. So once you log in into your Azure portal, you will see this. Okay, start with the free trial or using student access. Okay, so we don't need to do that. What we need is Azure Active Directory. So you need to create one Azure Active Directory. Okay, and in that you need to create a user. So after creating that particular user, you will get one email ID. That email ID you can use in your Power BI service account. Okay, let's do that. Click on create a resource, then type Azure Active Directory. Click on this. Okay, now provide some basic information. So organization name I'll do personal one domain I'll do Vishnu then review and create okay so validation is successfully passed then click on create now type this info Click on submit. So it's going to take few minutes to create it. Once the 10 creation was successful, then you need to click on this. This will take you to this location. As you can see, we are using personal one Azure Active Directory, which we have recently created. Now, what you need to do, you need to create new user. You will see by default, one user is created, but we will not going to use this. We need to create new user. Click on new user, then create new user. Then we need to provide some basic information. User principal name, so I'll type Vishnu. And display name Vishnu. Then you need to provide a password. Then click on review create. Then once validation is done, click on create. As you can see, my user is successfully created. So now what you need to do, you need to copy this email then we will use this email in Power BI service. Now let's move to the Power BI service. To go to the Power BI service, type app.powerbi.com in browser. And then provide that email ID, which you have copied from Azure portal and provide your password. Then it will take you to the Power BI service portal. Okay, so as you can see, this is the Power BI service portal. So right now we don't have anything here. So you can create your workspace and then you can use the same email ID in your Power BI desktop. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and like. Click bell icon for notification.